Welcome to NTN Nightly. I am Janelle Novel. This edition stop stories. St. Lucia participates in the first ever virtual World Health Assembly. Businesses permitted to commence full operations as the government embarks on a phased reopening. And the Ministry of Health and Wellness urges the business community to adhere to stipulated protocols. St. Lucia's health delegation participates in the first ever virtual World Health Assembly held this week. More in this report from Funnel Neptune. Health officials were granted the opportunity to participate in the 73rd World Health Assembly and commit to the fight against COVID-19. Minister for Health and Wellness, Senator the Honorable Mary Isaac says, she is elated that the virtual session allowed for the involvement of the health team and also the contribution towards the health agenda. This year, to see that other members of staff at the Ministry of Health are being given this opportunity to experience what it is like at the World Health Assembly makes it very, very exciting for me. I can sit here with my staff and we are having discussions as, you know, the sessions go on, as they call the different presenters. Um, you know, for me, that is such a big learning exercise and a learning process that it makes me feel very excited to, to be part of it all. Senator the Honorable Mary Isaac says, the virtual session definitely afforded them the platform to report on their progress in the fight against COVID-19 and also to acquire knowledge on ways to respond to the pandemic. We are learning a lot about um, what other member states did to um, handle the whole COVID situation as well as what they intend to do so we ourselves can look at best practices that they are speaking of and see how we can um, put it vis-a-vis -vis what we are doing in St. Lucia, what we have done, what we did, and what we are going to continue to do in St. Lucia. Medical Officer of Health Dr. Glensford Joseph says he's extremely delighted to play a significant part in this process. Having the World Health Assembly virtually this year gives us an opportunity to join with the Minister of Health, the Chief Medical Officer, to be part of such an important forum where they are discussing several issues that are so critical to the world. From this World Health Assembly, we will be leaving with great ideas that we can take back to our place of work in our daily activities that we can implement to make this world a better place. The 73rd World Health Assembly is attended by delegations from all WHO member states and is convened virtually from May 18th to the 19th. Reporting from the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health and Wellness, I am Fennel Neptune. In keeping with statutory instrument number 74 of 2020, emergency powers, disasters, COVID-19 curfew number 7 order, the Ministry of Commerce, International Trade, Investment, Enterprise Development and Consumer Affairs advises that businesses are hereby permitted to recommence full operations in their normal location and within the normal business hours as of May 18, 2020. The Ministry informs, however, that a curfew is imposed from May 18, 2020 to May 31, 2020 from 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. and only an essential service can operate during the curfew with the expressed permission of the Director of the National Emergency Management Organization, NEMO. All educational institutions shall remain closed and social events including the cinema and mass crowd events are prohibited. During this advanced phase of reopening the economy, business owners and operators are not required to seek prior approval to recommence business activity. Notwithstanding this, all businesses must adhere to the physical distancing and other COVID-related protocols that have been issued by the Ministry of Health. Kindly visit the Government of St. Lucia website at www.govt.lc or the Ministry of Commerce's website at www.commerce.gov.lc 
for additional information. The Ministry of Commerce encourages all business owners and the general public to adhere to the stipulated protocols. For more information on this matter, please contact the Commerce and Industry Unit within the Ministry of Commerce at telephone number 468-4214 or 468-4238. The Ministry of Health and Wellness on Monday, May 18, 2020, received results for 41 samples and they were all negative. These samples are due to increased community testing and this brings the total number of tests conducted to date to 827. Chief Medical Officer in the Ministry of Health and Wellness, Dr. Sharon Belmar-George, indicated that despite low transmission of COVID-19, the public must remain alert and continue adhering to all stipulated protocols. Although we have maintained a low transmission level of COVID-19 in country, we remind the public that we are still at risk and must maintain and remain vigilant as the threat remains. As we continue with the phased reopening, we must ensure that all protocols are ahead to. The Ministry of Commerce has advised that businesses are permitted to recommence full operations from Monday, May 18, 2020. Although approval for opening is not required at this time, business places are required to review the relevant protocols to ensure they comply with physical distancing infection prevention and control, occupational health and safety measures. The protocol's documents can be accessed via the website www.covid19response.lc or govt.lc and the Facebook pages of the Ministry of Health and Wellness and the Bureau of Health Education. We encourage the population to continue adopting the recommended infection prevention and control measures and physical distancing measures when going out into the public. We would like to see these measures also adopted at the community level as well. Chief Medical Officer in the Ministry of Health and Wellness, Dr. Sharon Belmar-George. And as the government of St. Lucia continues efforts toward a measured phase reopening of the country, the Ministry of Health and Wellness on Saturday presented the stipulated protocols for the business community drafted for each sector. We hear more from Anisia Antoine. The Chief Environmental Health Officer at the Ministry of Health and Wellness, Parker Ragunanan, reviewed the COVID-19 protocols with regards to the phased reopening of the country, including health services, medical shops, food and beverage services, farmers and fishing, the judiciary, and beauty and wellness services. All businesses are required to submit a COVID-19 response plan regarding the new measures to be implemented to maintain social distancing and regular housekeeping practices. All workers shall be provided and be expected to wear face masks while at work. Officers within the workplace shall maintain a six feet physical distance between each other. There shall be no overcrowding within the working space, a minimum of 30 square foot per individual. Employees who are receiving cash shall be provided with alcohol-based hand sanitizer to maintain hand hygiene. In-person meetings, whether non-company parties or in-house, should be limited and done virtually where possible. Ragunanan elaborated on the necessary guidelines for the reopening of salons and shops. All work area surfaces shall be cleaned and disinfected. Pedicure bowls, remove all parts that can be removed. Clean all removed parts with uh, soap and water. Rinse in clean water and then immerse into properly diluted disinfectant for full recommended contact time. Treatment rooms, clean and disinfect all surfaces such as chairs, tables, electrical appliances and liners. Administrative controls, employees who are sick will be expected to stay at home. The Chief Environmental Health Officer urged the public and the business community to adhere to the stipulated protocols to ensure the health and safety of all St. Lucians. From the Government Information Service, I am Anisia Antoine reporting. 
The Caribbean Public Health Agency, CAFA, and the Caribbean Community Implementation Agency for Crime and Security, CARICOM Impacts, both members of the CARICOM Security Cluster, as part of the Coordinated Regional Response to COVID-19, recently delivered a virtual training session for frontline security officers on measures to protect themselves in the line of duty. The training was designed for frontline security officers who continue to go above and beyond to protect the health and safety of citizens and visitors while ensuring their own security and to provide confidence across systems as some member states move into the recovery phase from COVID-19. The main objective of the live training, which was held on Thursday, May 7, 2020, was to equip national security officers in CARICOM member states on the use of personal protective equipment, PPE. The training hosted in collaboration with the Caribbean Basin Security Initiative Connect program reached more than 500 frontline workers from various security divisions, police, prisons, customs, immigration and military from 17 territories across the Caribbean, namely St. Lucia, Anguilla, Antigua and Barbuda, the Bahamas, Barbados, Belize, Bermuda, British Virgin Islands, Cayman Islands, Dominica, Grenada, Guyana, Haiti, Jamaica, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Suriname, Trinidad and Tobago, and Turks and Caicos Islands. The course continues to be available to all national security professionals on the CBSI Connect platform. And this is NTN Nightly. Up next, Primus Hutchinson with the NTN Nouvelle Aquayol. COVID-19 is a new pandemic disease as declared by the World Health Organization. It is transmitted directly by respiratory droplets when an infected person coughs or sneezes or indirectly through rubbing the face with contaminated hands. There is still no specific treatment or vaccine against COVID-19 and as such, the farming community should adhere to some special recommendations. Stock up on essentials such as animal feed, fertilizers, pesticides enough to last for about 30 days. Stock up on fuel and oils for farm equipment. Ensure that tools and vehicles are serviced to prevent breakdowns and to ensure that farming and food production remain steady. And protect yourself and your workers by ensuring you take all necessary precautions to remain healthy. More than ever before, your important role as gatekeepers of St. Lucia's nutritional health and food security should be taken seriously. When you exercise these precautions, you not only safeguard your health, but also continue to allow St. Lucians access to freshly grown fruits, vegetables, and other local crops. Remember, it is our responsibility to ensure our nation eats fresh, St. Lucia's best. Welcome back. We join Primus Hutchinson for the NTN Novel Aquayol. Monsieur Ta Chanel, Monsieur Madame, Department of Responsibility for Information and Gouvernement Settlesi, GIS, Assembly Pi Television, National Pi NTN, Capacito, Novel Aquayol, Presidente Primus Hutchinson. Les Rivandais en grand la place Castri, j'ai trouvé yo en facilité neuf pour opérer. Ces Rivandais là, t'es trouvé replacé vis-à-vis vieux établissement les pompiers bord de la rue Jérémy par de construction facilité neuf là là t'es qu'à fait. Provision nouveau ça là pour les Rivandais en grand la place Castri, c'est première phase pour gérer le redéveloppement grand la place là et tiens moi. Et c'est au moment t'es pour écou à peu près deux semaines qui passent pour te délivrer première phase ça là pour construire des villes Castri. Ça, c'était le troisième mois de mai. Facilité neuf là, nous sa table qui a tué toute provision, les Rivandais. Et aussi, yo qui a été en bordage là aussi. Selon M. Castri, Peterson Francis, quand c'est là, tu fait tout ce qui était possible pour te entrer en faveur les Rivandais. Il a ajouté que c'est façon, modèle, facilité ça là, c'est une qui a suivi la mission quand c'est là pour moderniser et grossir des grèves à l'air les Rivandais à Castri. Mais Francis déclarait que 
Le river des pas supposé qu'à tout le provision au bord de la rue et puis tout c'est dans où il a exposé à terre. Francis dit que ça va pas garder propre et c'est pas yon qui ca suivre avec de bon santé pour ni fruit les gimes et l'autre provision si mais à terre va et va. Mais Francis m'a dit que ça c'est l'air pour ministère de santé à tuimili pour faire assurer que les marchandises suivent toute règle et régulation de santé et aussi conseiller membre public là pour pas acheter pièces provision et pas qu'à suivre ces règles là. À part de ça, mais Francis dit que c'est le modèle là qui a vendu pour des chemins qui a empêché mon service et toi toi bien comme il faut. Il dit que ça aussi qui a porté un risque pour mon qui a servi c'est toi toi ça là. Mais Francis déclare que la place neuf là fait provision pour tout le monde. Francis a annoncé que en ces semaines là qui a venu là qu'il y a une consultation et puis ces résidents à sous la rue Jean-Baptiste pour continuer l'autre morceau de travail en première phase là côté la caïni construction boutique café place pour boire boisson et pour monde marcher police paya chapeau de marche de sécurité pour adresser situation crime qui a levé tête li en paroisse d'Henry pour ces semaines qui j'a passé chef police Milton Desi de voyant discussion à sous NTN expliquer que police a arrêté monde qui était dérespecté police de mon temps yo était de haut après les et pas te ka respecter protocole des 6 pieds distance sociale et curfew ça te pour cou en union chef police désir aussi parler des démarches de pour adresser situation crime en de nuit qui l'occasionne la mort oui ça ça, ça fait recentement désir déclarer qui il a placé officier SSU en village de nuit pour courager situation ça là so c'est si vous parlez pour sortir cassu et bien vieux fort pour descendre des nuits si rien fait so moi ni un team là et puis yo ça yo qu'a fait yo qu'a pas tout ça dit pas trop yo qu'a passer les chemins yo qu'a garde en daitoa yo qu'a acheter un mois yo qu'a search kai moun moun yo kwè ki peni bagay ki illégal et puis bagay kon han so nou 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 ka di nou police active des nuits mais chef police là c'est qu'a aussi à vous doué trouver plus formation et support rendre les les résidents concernant diverses activités crime en paroisse de nuit moi ça nous ca joindre mais um, ça moi c'est qu'a ici mieux c'est si c'est mon gens de nuit yo ca venir ensemble et puis mm-hmm. pour yo dou bout ça qui ca aller ay ca meilleur pour yo so il pas ca faire sens pour ou blesser yon moun ou arrêter ou blesser yon en l'autre il a été so ça ca il continue courant so ça nous ca dit ça qui j'a arrêté a bien arrêté mais si moun ça vini ensemble et puis si l'année moun qui ça l'année moun en communauté a qui ça mené yo ensemble parler ba yo ni nous ça nous pas ça dit ni en en grand meeting parce que nous style ni pour faire social distance mais l'année manière l'année manière où ça joindre joindre et puis c'est moun ça parler ba yo pour yo find out qui ça qui problème là parce que là ni un problème mm-hmm. oui si la panne c'est pour ça bagaille la car mm-hmm. continue la journée un changement en prix pétrole LPG vers livre 20 et qui ça livre cylinder prix pour gasoline diesel et kérosène pas changé et c'est pour ça là venir en opération depuis le 18 mois de mai gasoline c'est même qu'on avant 10 dollars et des chlin des go dessous par litre et ben 11 dollars et des chlin 4 sous par gallon. Kaozin c'est même à 1 dollar et des chlin 4 go dessous par litre et ben 7 dollars et 7 go dessous par gallon. Diesel c'est 2 dollars et des chlin 7 go par litre et ben 11 dollars et 3 chlin 10 go par gallon. Cylinder 20 litres LPG réduit sorti 27 dollars et 1 chlin 12 go pour 26 dollars et 9 go dessous par cylinder cylinder 20 livres là réduit sorti 29 dollars et 4 chlin pour 28 dollars et 3 chlin 4 go par cylinder cylinder 100 livres là réduit sorti 158 dollars et 1 chlin 3 go dessous pour 147 dollars et 3 chlin 11 go dessous par cylinder l'autre nouvelle à ce prix pétrole qui est le 8 à mois de juin 2020 est-ce que ça nous trois bout nouvelle là Mon cas, monsieur, autant pour garder, mon cas, une invitation pour je ne puis moi encore. C'est-à-dire, quand ça veut la vie, venez, 
Because it's all out to fail. Acquire. Merci à Pil Primus. And that brings us to the end of NTN Nightly. Join us next time at 7 p.m. with a repeat at 7 a.m. You can also catch up with us anytime on the St. Lucia Government Facebook page or YouTube channel. I am Janelle Norville.